Hello everyone, Mucklick Douglas Bartholomew Original Death Squad the fourth here, and this is a guide on how to get Transcendence, the only legendary amulet currently in the game. Now, Transcendence is obtained from PvP, and for those of you that may dislike PvP and get upset at this, know that the two legendary rings come from World v World and Raiding, so to get the full set, you do have to try all game modes. If you are new to PvP and thinking about trying it to earn this legendary, I have a guide that can help you get started. I'll link it in the description. Transcendence has two two forms. Slumbering Transcendence, which does not have the floating ball above your head, but still has the legendary stats and all the other benefits of being a legendary. And its second form, Transcendence, which has the floating orb above you, showing a window into the Eternal Colosseum. If you choose to upgrade it to its second form with the cosmetic, you cannot undo it, so be warned. Both forms have stat selection, like any legendary, allowing you to easily swap between builds without carrying more gear. With the addition of the legendary armory that is in development at the time of recording this, you will essentially have a legendary amulet on every one of your characters once you have this item and the armory is released. Making Transcendence. If you haven't already looked at it, many of the steps of this project overlap with the legendary backpack, The Ascension, and can be done partially at the same time. I'll include a link to that guide in the description. This is actually a very simple and straightforward legendary, but it does take a lot of time, and the main culprit is this. Emblem of Victory, rewarded from an achievement to win 120 ranked matches during PvP seasons. It's ranked matches, so if it's a ranked 2v2 season, it's those. If it's a ranked 3v3 season or 5v5 season, it's those. Now, you don't have to be a high-tiered player. You can win matches in lower leagues if that's where your skill is and still get this. It will just take time. Assuming a 50% win rate, that's still 240 games. When I worked on this, I just played for one to two hours of matches each night. I gamed and slowly chipped away at this until it was done. Now that the band-aid has been ripped off, let's go over the other materials, which won't take long. First is a Mystic Tribute. Used in many other legendaries, I've covered this in other videos. It's a whole bunch of stuff that you can gather or buy off the trading post. Make it at your convenience. Next is the Vial of Salt, aptly named considering it's from PvP. If you're working on the legendary backpack, the Ascension, you may already have all the materials for this. If not, just buy these four essences from the merchant in the PvP lobby, then do the Mystic Forge combinations shown here. Then finally, combine the four items into the Vial of Salt. It is an ascended amulet, so you can enjoy using it until you are ready to make the final transcendence if you wish. Get a Mist Diamond and a Mist Enhanced Orichalcum from the League vendor in the PvP lobby. When you're ready, combine these four items into the Salt Forged Mist Diamond. Note, if you are using the Vial of Salt as an ascended neck item, do this combination last when you're ready to completely finish the Legendary. Gift of the Mists, covered in past videos, the Gift of the Mists is used in multiple legendary projects. It uses Shards of Glory from PvP, Memories of Battle from World v World, both of which can be bought on the trading post if you are short. Gift of Battle is from a World v World reward track only, so you will have to do some World v World to get it. Remember, if you use boosters while you're in there, you could shave off hours of time. Finally, a cube of Stabilized Dark Energy, made from a ball of Dark Energy, salvaged from Ascended Items, and Stabilizing Matrices, from fractals or from a trading post. Next is the gift of competitive dedication. Four items bought from merchants. Once you have the currencies, you can simply buy them all at once and combine them in a Mystic Forge. Super simple. Tome of the Mists. Also from a PvP merchant for 100 Tomes of Knowledge. Start saving tomes if you haven't been, and you should have all you need by the time you finish the other steps. The third of the four major items we need is the gift of skirmishing. We need a perfect Mist Core, which is made from Mist Core Fragments, which are gained from the Glorious Reward Track. Very easy, just make sure to have that Reward Track selected when you start this PvP journey, and you will finish it alongside the other steps at the same time. Five Certificates of Support. These are bought from the PvP Merchants. Shards of Glory, as mentioned earlier, you will be earning those while doing PvP, or you can buy them off the Trading Post. And Vision Crystals have numerous sources in the game, but if you are truly desperate, you can craft them with this recipe. The last item, and what you could consider to be the precursor for Transcendence is a Mist Pendant. This is another Ascended Amulet with selectable stats. This can be purchased in PvP, World v World, or Fractals. Purchase it in any game mode where you have an excess of that type of currency that you don't mind spending. And again, you could use this for a long time while you're gathering the other stuff if you wish to do so. Finally, hurl all four of the major items into the Mystic Forge to make Slumbering Transcendence. 
Now, you have two options. You could stop here. You've got a legendary amulet that's got selectable stats on it that will work with the legendary armory once it is released. Or you could do one more step to unlock the bowels. If you wish to upgrade Slumbering Transcendence to the full Transcendence, there is one more combination to do. You take these four items. Slumbering Transcendence, 250 Unidentified Dice, you can start saving these now if you plan to do this, and Essence of Lamamatic Elegance. This is bought from a Laurels Merchant for the low price of three Laurels, super easy. And one item that you're gonna have to go out of your way for. An Emblem of Tournament Victory. This is the biggest one. It's from an achievement to get 20 wins in tournaments. Now, 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 hold on, hold on, don't run away. I am not talking about winning the World Cup de France here. There are automated tournaments every few hours every day. And near the time that they're going to start, people will constantly call out looking for group for AT, which is short for automated tournament in the PvP lobby. You can join a group and queue up. You'll play a few matches, usually three to four, and you get rewards based on how many times you win. If there are not many teams queuing, you'll get pretty good rewards just for being one of the ones that played. It can be very profitable too. Often there are other teams that are also just flat out pugs that may be an even or an easy fight for you. You. If you're planning to go for the full form of Transcendence, just keep an eye on these AT times. If you see one lined up with some free time of yours, just join a pug and do your best. I would often get one to two wins, and rarely three to four wins per AT I did with completely random people. So it took me five to ten automated tournaments to get this step done. I finished this step long before I finished my 120 ranked wins. Once you have the emblem, throw these four items into the Mystic Forge to get Transcendence. All in all, this legendary is incredibly simple. Almost all of its steps overlap with each other. You just gotta do a lot of PvP. And remember, it just has to be ranked PvP, not high-ranked PvP. Just do your best to get those wins. And that's all there is to Transcendence. If you need any additional details that I didn't cover, I will include wiki links to the legendary in the description so you can just jump straight to any step that you need more information on. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like for the YouTube algorithm. Comment if you have any questions or if you know any tricks and tips that I didn't share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. A special thank you to our fantastic Patreon supporters who help make this content possible, and if you are interested in becoming one and getting more videos and perks, there is a link in the description. My in-game name is muckluck.9082 if you need to reach me there or talk to me live any evening on Twitch. You can follow me there or see my schedule on my calendar. Links are in the description. There are also links to our community Discord and Steam group if you would like to to join us there. Lastly, if you'd like to support this channel, please consider bookmarking our Amazon associate links. By simply using this link when you go shopping on Amazon, you support this channel and the production of new videos with every purchase you make at no additional cost to you. Shilling complete. Thank you for listening and happy ranking.